Okay, now we're gonna do dumbbell shoulder press. Um, with this exercise, is the granddaddy of all shoulder exercises. This is where you really pack on the muscle, pack on the beef, as we always say in the bodybuilding world. This exercise is very crucial for you to apply the proper techniques all the time because this is where you really build muscle. So most of the time when people do this exercise, I always see really, really bad form. When guys pick up the dumbbell, they put too much heavy weight on the dumbbell and they swing in the, even on these, in this position, they will push their body forward to get the weight upward. And that's what you don't want to do. You use to using assisted movement. When you push your body forward, you're actually moving away from your angle of loading because now you're adding motion to stability and to isometric. When you try to build muscle, you want to isolate that muscle as much as you can. Once you start moving back and forth, isolation is out of the door. So the most important thing here is isolation, shoulder elbow angle, and most guys when I see them when they're doing this exercise, they usually go too fast first of all, and they're bouncing the weight together at the top. When you do this, you're not only deloading when you bounce, the clanking of the weight together is actually bad for your joints because every time you hit the weights together, there's a vibration that happens there, which put a lot of stress, goes into the, into the joints, the wrists, the elbows, and the shoulders. Be very careful you don't use too much weight. Always control the load up and down. Okay, the common mistakes that I see in the shoulder press exercise with the dumbbells. Apart from heavy weights, too much weight, elbows coming too low, which will stress your shoulder joints too much, and lift too much, or pushing the weight behind their shoulders. Too much behind here stresses your shoulder out, and because you're pushing behind, you will go be away from the angle of loading. The key point here is to make sure you control your elbows and shoulders right here. Make sure your elbows are pointing downward and not backwards and not forward. You want to really feel that elbow pointing down. So when you get to the top, you want to squeeze without bouncing the weights together. Come down really slow. Maintain your angle of loading. Square the shoulders. Push straight out. Squeeze, you want to really squeeze at the top without locking your elbows. You want to feel that shoulder muscle pressing up. Come down really slow. Right now, I can, even though I've only done about four, maybe five reps, maybe 25 pounds, I can really feel that muscle contraction at the top. So make sure you stay with the load and use that mind and body connection to really feel like you're pushing from your shoulders and not from your wrist. Always control the tempo, square, my elbow is slightly right in front of my shoulders. It's not behind, it's not too forward, just slightly. You can see right there, slightly in front, and you're just pressing straight up and down, controlling when you come down. The more isolation you get, the more load, muscle contraction, and muscle recruitment, and that's when you build growth and build muscle at all times. So keep all this in mind. Mind and body connection, control the load on the bottom, Squeeze at the top, do not add any motion, isolate. The more you keep your body centered and stable, the more contraction you get and the more isolated that muscle is. So you can be able to control the load and build more mass, and build more muscle. And that's how you do a dumbbell shoulder press.